Chris, Caddy Chris in his STSV. Dan in his 2004 GTO. And then Sam over there in his 5 Series. Thompson Motor Speedway to support Chris's friend Andy, who we met through the Mass BMW group. His car is a 1997 BMW E36 M3 that's been modified to suit his drifting needs at the track. The interior had been stripped out to add race seats, as well as a hydro e-brake and a full roll cage. The steering angle had also been modified to allow more turning. From American muscle cars, sports cars, JDM cars, to pickup trucks. As long as it's rear-wheel drive and a manual transmission, people will drift it. And little did I know, I was about to have my first drifting experience ever. What do you usually set it for PSI on that? Oh, uh, like 32. They get when they get hot, they you know, expand. Fill yeah. Up. Makes sense. It gets to like it gets to like 40 sometimes. You really? Down, yeah. Jesus. You leave it up there and it destroys the tire that yeah. much faster. So, okay. how's that? Hey, all right. Oh, we got one. Now you want the suction cup? Got it. drift event in general. Oh really? Yes. Oh, <laughs> it's a f***ing blast man. Yeah, it's probably man. the most fun I've ever had in a car. Oh my god. I'm digging the car too. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. I bought it mostly as it is. Yeah. Um, I just did a couple of little finishing touches to it but my buddy O'Ryan built it. He did the whole cage, the angle, everything else. Oh awesome. So stock motor and everything? Uh, not stock for the car, but it is a stock S52. Okay. Uh, it comes out of a newer generation, or same generation, but newer model uh, E36 M3. Got it. How do I go to the bathroom in this thing? <laughs> yeah, it's mostly JDM out here. Yeah. That's what drifting's really known for anyways. Yeah. I, I think the biggest problem is the 240s and stuff yeah. trying to find one they're so expensive now mm -hmm. that like people are trying other platforms and that's why i think you're getting muscle cars now yeah Yeah. 
Because the problem is it goes from wet to dry and you don't know when it's going to be. Got so, it. So you catch traction like that and then all of a sudden you're just whipping right around. You know what I mean? It's so like, it's kind of like an ice, like ice patches in a road pretty much. Yep. Yeah. Exactly like that. So one second, you know, you know you're hanging on to the turn perfectly fine and then all of a sudden you hit something, yeah. whether it be a dry spot or a wet spot yep. and you're done. You know, what you're doing currently isn't working. So it's like, you're, that's it. Yeah. It never gets old. Uh, <laughs> it really doesn't. It must just get more more and more fun every time too because you you're like, oh I can improve the next one, you know? Exactly, yeah. I mean I'm starting to get to the point where I can like kind of tell my tire where to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. So if I want to put my tire somewhere, it's there. Oh, it's beautiful. So I know you've said you've only been doing this since last fall. Yeah. You, sir, that's impressive. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. Have you gone through multiple pairs of tires yet oh of course okay i i couldn't even count them at least 10 sets last year holy damn yeah and, and that was from fall to you know winter <laughs> wow yeah i had I, I haven't been out here since uh november so yeah that was only a, like a three months when do you usually change a set of tires like it, like when you can tell it it's a certain point or like when nope. they i just i just go until they blow up Really? I don't waste an inch of tire. I, I want to use every bit of it. All right. It must have been my fourth or fifth round at this point, and I was starting to notice the little things that Andy was doing to control the car. Specifically when he bumped the e-brake, what RPM he was at, the timing of when he'd kick the rear end out, and then how much counter steer he'd give the car. The art of drifting was starting to come together piece by piece in my head, and it was becoming more clear why so many people are passionate about the sport. If only I could share this experience with more people. Seven months later, and we're back here I did bring Samantha this time, and she is going to ride in the car with Andy. I don't want to, I'm scared. If she doesn't want to, she doesn't have to, but I think Kayla would. Kayla, would you ride in the car with Andy? Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. Uh, we'll see. This is Andy's last drift event before he moves down to South Carolina to start some new automotive ventures. So I'm incredibly glad we got to come see him drift at Thompson one last time. Chris just did a ride along in there too. How was it Chris? Oh yeah, it was a blast. I got it on film. So. Okay, you're gonna have to send me that. Oh yeah. you like it. I love it. That's great. I want a drift car now. I want a drift car now too. Sam's gonna go in the next round. I am so nervous. I'm going to throw up. I don't know what you just said. I am scared. <laughs> Squeeze. Ah. Both. Yeah. 
All right, watch your elbow. Andy, make sure you give her a good ride. Oh, she will have the best ride of her life. Oh, Dan, don't touch that. Yeah, do not grab this because you'll slide. Oh, yeah, don't grab that. Have fun. Yes, you got it. Yes, girl. Get it. E-brake a little bump and it kicks the back end out. Oh, that makes sense. Oh my gosh. 10 out of 10, we'll do it again. Thanks, Andy. Maybe 9 out of 10 because I got nauseous. Yeah, well, that's a you problem. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. <laughs> Anytime. I'm glad you came. Thanks, Andy. You're the man. By far the cleanest car here. So good. <laughs> 